Welcome everyone, Mindy here today for Lawn Fawn, and I have a slider card to share with you today. I haven't made one in a while, and this cute little bear in the Santa sleigh I thought would be perfect to do a slider card with. So I am using the Lawn Fawn white cardstock and the jet black ink to stamp all of my images. I'm using the Oh What Fun stamp set with that cute little bear in the sleigh, and he needed some friends. So I'm using Say What Christmas Critters. These were the perfect size to go in my scene. I didn't want them to be too big since my sleigh is kind of the focal image. So I'm just using three of the images from the stamp set and I'm going to stamp those down onto my cardstock with the jet black ink. Now I am using my Misty tool to stamp all of my images, but you could just use an acrylic block and that would work just as well. So I gave these little critters, uh, I stamped them twice just to make sure there was that nice black outline. I'm going to use a little snowman from Ready Set Snow. He was also the perfect size and I needed a snowman to go with my snowy hills and Christmas scene. So I stamped that as well. And then I also have Home for the Holidays. And so for this one, I'm just using these little presents. I wanted to have some presents to kind of go along with the Santa in the sleigh, and these were the perfect look for it. And then I just needed some trees. So I'm using these two trees off of Winter Skies. And I'm gonna, since I already have this loaded in my Misty, I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp these down. But then I do end up taking my cardstock out of the Misty tool and using an acrylic block because I wanted a few trees to have a little grouping of them. And it was just easier to do it this way than to rearrange my paper or uh, the stamps in my Misty tool. Now I'm going to go ahead and color all of my images with my Copic markers. I did speed this process up since I did want to focus on the slider portion of the video. For the trees, I'm using YG17, YG13, and YG21. I started by just flicking my darkest color from the top going down, and there's going to leave a little highlight area on the bottom portion of each, each section of the tree. Now you could just stop at the YG13 and kind of leave it white to give the illusion of snow. I decided I wanted the YG21 in there because I really like that bright green. And I did go back over it one more time with the YG17 just to add a little bit more dimension to the trees. I'm also going to take the green and add it to the rest of my images that I have stamped out here. I'm just going to use some basic red and green Christmas colors so I could use the same markers throughout all the images. So I added some green to the presents. I added it to the snowman's hat. I'm also going to color my Santa outfit in the greens too. So I added some shading uh, to the back side of the Santa hat. And I also added shading uh, to where he's closest to sitting in the sleigh there, the sleigh I would think would be casting a shadow, and then also to the underside of his arm, and then just blending that out with my uh, two other colors so that there's a nice smooth blend. And then I'm going into my reds, which is the R29, R24, and R22. So I'm doing my snowman scarf in the red. I did the little llama with a red scarf. And I also did the little hat on the penguin. So I just did some really quick coloring there, adding in just a little bit of that R29. And then I'm also going to color the sleigh. And that's kind of why I gave my little bear the green outfit. I just wanted to have some distinction between the two. So I added my darkest color around the rim of the sleigh, the R29, and a little bit towards the bottom and blending in that out. And I did go over this sleigh twice since this is a little bit bigger of an image than the rest of the characters I have on my paper. For the bear, I'm coloring E55, E31, and E51. So really nice light colored bear. Added some shading right in the corners where the hat would be sitting on top of the head. I used B000 to add a little bit of shading on that snowman. I didn't even color all the way in, just a couple little flicks off on the right hand side. And then for the reindeer, I'm using E25 and E23. Just some real quick shading there. 
I did an E02 on the face of the llama. I actually meant to grab my E01, but I grabbed the wrong marker. Still works out. And then I just did little dots with W3 and W1 just to show a little bit of texture to the critter. Finished off my penguin with the N6 and N5. Did Y35 for the feet and the beak and also added it to the bottom of the sleigh. And I forgot my bear's ear, so I quick added that in. And then just an E23 for the bottoms of my trees. Now I'm going to start building the background for my cards. So I'm using the stitched mountain border, and that's with the paper bag cardstock that I'm going to cut that from. I also have the snow caps. I'm going to die cut out of the pixie dust uh, glitter cardstock. I also need to do some hills. So I'm using the simple stitched hillside border for one of them. I have two different dies here. I'm going to have two different hills. One of them the slider is going to be cut from. So I'm going to go ahead and do this first hill. And I'm going to run that through my die cut machine. And I like to just kind of come back and line it up over what I have already cut to make sure that this is coming together the way I want it to. And see this top piece here that I just cut is where the slider is going to be cut from. The red cardstock, the chili pepper cardstock, is my base. I am also adding a white piece of cardstock in there. And this white image that I'm adding these uh, mountains to is actually Bristol Smooth cardstock because I want to ink blend my sky. And I prefer to use the Bristol Smooth because that ink does go on really well. Now we can create our slider. So this is the slide on over die. When you're lining this up, you want to make sure there's enough room above that die so you can put your foam tape in there. So I ran that through the die cut machine and I'll be able to cut a really thin strip. You can move it down a little more if you need some more room, but I figured this would be plenty for me to work with. And I also need a backer piece because when your uh, figure or character moves, we're going to see behind this and I wanted to have it consistent. So I am going to go ahead and use another piece of the pixie dust glitter cardstock. I'm lining this up on some of my uh, scrap that I had here and I'm just going to make a couple little tick marks. I'm going to do one kind of towards the bottom there and one towards the top and then I'm going to lie the same die on top. This is the same one that I used to cut that hillside and I'm going to run that through and that's going to create the same shape as what I already have. I would just, you know, if there's any overhang, just trim it down. So this is going to be behind my slider front piece, if that makes sense. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and work on my sky background. So I am using Peacock Feathers Distress Oxide ink and also the Chipped Sapphire. These are two kind of extreme colors, uh, maybe something you wouldn't have thought of to add, but what I was thinking is since this is going to be behind my mountains, the Peacock Feathers to me kind of gives a glowing effect. You could also use maybe a light green or even the yellow, but I really liked how this kind of gave that glowing effect, like there's something behind those mountains, maybe into the North Pole or a little village. So I just added that peacock feathers in there, went around the edges with the chipped sapphire for the dark sky. And then I'm just lining up the card to make sure my scene is coming together the way I had envisioned it. All right, so to create our slider, I took some foam tape and I have it layered here three times and I cut it into a really thin strip and I'm going to go ahead and just put this around all the edges of my slider piece. You want to make sure you're leaving enough room there because you're going to have a penny while well, I'm using a penny as being my slider piece. So you just want to make sure you're getting as close to that edge as you can, leaving enough room for your penny to be able to slide around in. I'm going to go ahead and put some on the side. That's also kind of serving as a type of stopper for my sleigh. And then I'll line it through on the bottom. 
And I'm also going to put a piece here under that slider part I had die cut out. Now I'm grabbing my penny and I'm gonna place this in here. This is gonna show me that I have enough room. And I lined up my penny where it starts to curve downhill. To me, that was the best way I could make sure I had enough room throughout the whole piece there. And then go ahead and trim off any of the excess. And I'm using some of those excess pieces to just fill in the area so that this is a nice solid piece. With three layers, it does, does stick up quite a bit, but I have found that the three layers do work best. And the image really does slide really nice. So I'll just finish that up, making sure all my gaps are filled in. Now I'm just trimming down a really skinny piece, and this is the same thing, it's three layers, so off of that strip that I had created. And I'm gonna attach this to my penny. This is what's gonna be attached to the penny and then to your image on the other side. So I lined up my penny through the back, attached my foam, from the front and then just making sure kind of giving it a little slide making sure that it has enough room to move between all of my foam tape and then I can take the anti-static powder tool and just go around all of those edges so on the side where the foam is where your slider piece is this just helps everything move nice and smooth so I'm also doing it on the sides of the foam uh, that's attached to the penny as well and you can see that fits through really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, holding my penny from the back and attach my little bear in the sleigh. And that is our slider piece. So now I can go ahead, remove the backing of everything on the back and I'm gonna attach this to that background piece we made. So that when the bear slides back and forth, it's gonna be one complete scene, it's all gonna be the same. You could just also use white cardstock if you prefer, if you didn't want to use the glitter cardstock. I like how that's so complete, everything is the same on that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and start assembling the card. Like I said, I have my chili pepper cardstock as the base of four and a quarter by five and a half, a white piece of cardstock that's four by five and a quarter, and then I have my background here which is three and three quarters by five inches. And I just really liked having that border there, that bright white border between my background and my card base. I'm going ahead and just using the Lawn Fawn liquid glue and attaching all of my snow caps. Using my tweezers just really help. And once in a while I might have pushed too hard on my glue so it came out a little bit more than I needed so I just wiped that with my finger and then my last snow cap here does kind of hang off, so I'll go ahead and get that trimmed up so it's a nice flat edge. And then I can attach this right away to my background. I know when I saw this stamp set, the Oh What Fun stamp set, the first thing I thought of was a slider, and I actually just haven't made a slider in a long time, so I thought these two worked really well together and came out super cute and using the pixie dust glitter cardstock was such a nice touch to it because snow is always sparkly to me so I really like how that adds to the card now I'm just going to be coming in and starting to kind of work with my scene I do bring in my slider piece over every now and then to make sure I'm not hiding anything too much this is where having all of these smaller images really comes in handy because they are kind of in the background. It's not overpowering on the card, but it does complete the scene. So I'm using the Lawn Fawn liquid glue for this, and when I do attach these, I'm just holding them down for an extra couple seconds to make sure that's sticking really well to that glitter card stock. That can be kind of tricky sometimes. So there's my little penguin with some presents making sure that I'm not hiding any of my characters. And then also this sweet little snowman. I'm kind of just tucking him in a little bit. 
My other couple trees, I actually wanted them to go on the left-hand side of the card, but the hillside that I had die cut was a little too tall. So they weren't going to work over there. So you'll be, you'll be able to see here when I line this up, those trees just kind of looked odd if I put them up too high. So I'm just going to stick them over by the snowman. Pushing down really good, making sure that's sticking. You can see I brought in a block to put on top of that for a little bit. So off camera, I did go ahead and do my sentiment. This is from the Simply Winter Sentiments stamp set. I white heat embossed that onto some chili pepper cardstock and then die cut it out with the Everyday Sentiment banner. And so I'm going to attach that to the bottom of my card. So I'm just finishing this off. I went ahead and put my slider piece onto the card using the liquid glue and I'm attaching this to the very bottom. And then I have two critters left that I'm going to add to each side of the banner. Now I will admit I did not quite think this through all the way once my slider piece would get moving. <laughs> You'll see here in just a second. So I have my little deer that I placed on one end. The llama I'm adding some foam tape to and this is three layers the foam tape so that way when my slider piece moves my llama's not in the way. Now I had that in my head I was thinking of but when my slider piece actually moves it slides beautifully but my sleigh is kind of running into my reindeer so that was a little bit of I didn't uh, think that through quite right but if you do this you could always pop your deer up as well. I already stuck it down and it was stuck pretty good I didn't want to ruin anything so it's staying as is and I think this still turned out super cute, really fun. I miss making slider cards, so I definitely want to go ahead and make some more of these. I hope you enjoyed today's video and was able to get some inspiration off of it. Thank you so much for joining me and have an amazing day.